Hello, welcome to my place and thank you for letting me come to your place. I'd like to tell you about my favourite book, the Bible. I've got one here, and this is a very special Bible, but uh, some people think Bible, the Holy Bible, oh yuck, it's religious and it's magic and it's scary and I don't know what else, but uh, Holy Bible, all that means, holy means special, very special. Bible means book, so this is a very special book, and that's all. No scary, um, not religious, it's, it's just a book. It's a special book, yes. Um, it's a special book from God, uh, telling us how to live our lives and, uh, and how we can live forever with Him in heaven. That's interesting, isn't it? But this particular one is quite a different one. It's quite interesting. Let me show you. Let me show you. Some people see the Bible and they say, there's nothing in it. Nothing in it for me. I can't see anything in the Bible. It's just, just, just nothing here. There's just nothing there. So I said, well, let's look. And they show me, look, there's nothing in the Bible. Nothing at all. So why, why should I bother reading the Bible when there's nothing in it? Nothing. I say, well, hang on, uh, have you been right through the Bible? They say, yeah, I've been right through the Bible from front to back. Right from the front to, even right to the back uh, and look through it. There's, there's nothing there. I mean, nothing there. There's words in there and there's stories in there. There's fantastic stories in there. Um, why don't you start at the front and read it just like a book? Read the words and just see the pictures in there. There's lots and lots of stories. And when you read a story, it sort of creates a picture in your mind. And some of those pictures are fantastic. So when you start from the beginning uh, and read through it, the pictures, uh, the, sorry, the stories will make pictures in your mind. And eventually, when you go through the Bible again, you will see pictures. Pictures from all sorts of things through the Bible. Um, there we have Jesus being baptized uh, and fishermen getting fish. Uh, Jesus walking on water and Peter sinking in the water. But at least he did try. Uh, the woman at the well and Jesus feeding 5,000 people. When you read the stories, these pictures will, will come into your mind and you, you'll... Um, Get to feel the pictures. There's Jesus on the cross. Jesus died for our sins on the cross so that we don't have to be punished. Jesus on the cross with two other thieves. And there's uh, Jesus in the, uh, well, the angels in the tomb. Jesus has risen. And uh, he, the, the angels telling Mary, uh, why are you looking here? This is where the dead are. Jesus is alive. So the stories are there. So you just have to read them and get the pictures in your mind. And uh, eventually, hopefully, the, you will say, well, I wonder if these pictures, these stories are true. And they are, because it's God's word to us. Bible is an acronym. It says B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. So this is how a manual, if you like, on how to live here on earth. God's manual. And when we get, get into the stories and we... we believe them, uh, because they are true, uh, we, we can look at the Bible one day and say, wow, that, these, these are really fantastic, because when you come to know Jesus, and you read the Bible then, it really jumps into life. You've got all sorts of pictures there. There's the children playing. Jesus on the water again. Jesus uh, feeding 5,000 again. Look at the brilliant colours there now. All well, because you know a bit more about the Bible. But when you go to church, if you go to church regularly to a Bible reading church, you can talk to the people there about the Bible and so ask them about it. And they will tell you how to read the Bible, how to understand the Bible. And most important of all, they will tell you how to accept Jesus into your life and you can live with him forever. That's interesting, isn't it? So I'll see you there. Bye.